Let's start. Today we will see how to create a multi time frame volume indicator in the TradingView Pine script. This is an indicator function with name, multi time frame volume. The format attribute is set to format.volume. This is important, as the volume figures are often in 5 or 6 digits, so to summarize them as thousands or millions, this attribute is required. First, we accept user input for the higher time frame. The default value is set to the weekly time frame. Here we calculate the higher time frame open and close values which we will need to calculate the volume color. We also calculate the higher time frame volume. For this, we use the security function. The first argument of this function is the current stock name. The second argument is the higher time frame. The third argument is the data to be fetched from the higher time frame, like open, close, volume, etc. The bracket 1 written in front of these values handles the indicator repainting issue. We have discussed this topic in a separate tutorial, the link is given in this description. The last two values of the security function handle the gaps and the bar merge. Here we calculate the volume column color. If the higher time frame price bar is bullish, we color the volume green, otherwise. We color it red. And here we plot the higher time frame volume. The plot style is set to columns. Let's add this indicator to the chart. As you can see our indicator shows the volume over here, and the columns are colored according to the price bar. Right now we are on the daily time frame, and we are seeing the weekly volume. Now, we are on the daily time frame, and we are seeing the monthly volume. So that's it. That's how you can create a multi-time frame volume indicator in the TradingView Pine script. Thank you.